going to be Kane Shepard to get things underway with the opening kickoff. Michael Mammis will open proceedings momentarily. Round three underway at Churchill Reserve, and Heidelberg will attack toward the right of screen in this first half, but a bit of a wasteful ball forward to get things underway. Sean Ellis presenting. Habib trying to play on. Fabrizio trying to clear away for St. Albans, but it is won back at midfield by the visitors, and just a heavy challenge there. Draws the whistle from Michael Mamis, and it'll be quickly taken. This is Feta Hajic for Heidelberg United. Deflected ball. It's working in tight quarters. Last touch came off him. The ball was initially missed. It was bouncing toward the top of the area. Heidelberg in a little bit of trouble here. Onside, George Ott, but it's a wasted ball. This is Zach Thomas. Just went the long ball. Joey Monek sent the ball in. He also on the score sheet last week against Dandenong Thunder. We've got our first corner of the evening here at Churchill. But it must have worked out here for St. Albans. It will come back to Summerskill. First time ball in. Another corner given away. It's up for grabs at midfield. Ball intended for Nazari, but it was well off the mark. The through ball didn't come off, but on the follow-up, Josh Penn now inside the area. Can fire the shot away. Might have taken a deflection. Grigic with the last touch, and we've got a corner now for Heidelberg United. Their first of the evening here. Nice crowd has just made its way in. They did come late, Matt, but they are here now. And what is going to be quite a chilly night. Yeah, I think I think there was a mix-up with some of the the matchups and the, and the starting times with some of the matches for this round. Um, I think this one was initially um, scheduled as an 8:30 start um, and and got changed to 8 p.m. So that could explain why some people are dragging and coming in late. It was an inventive touch there by Sean Ellis, but right on top of it was Kiranovic in goal for St Albans. No handball. Kane Shepard sending it forward. Habib now, who has been quite dangerous early in this game, on that left side, fires away a shot, but it's into the side netting. It's under a tiny bit of pressure as he did clear away. And now the counter will be launched across this left side. This is Joey Monek outside the area. Nice ball for Timmins. Low ball in, he's dealt with. Over the crossbar by Anthony Theodoropoulos. And this is now the third corner of the evening coming up for St. Albans already. So we're going to get the corner. Heidelberg United does not have Feta Hajic in play here. Grigic, his ball is blocked. And Habib will come away with it. But working hard against him was Zelfi Nazari, and he actually won it back. I think Aiden Feta Hajic, his night is done. An early substitution here for Heidelberg United. So... And he's a significant blow very early in this match here. Shinsuka Murakami is the man that replaces Aiden Fedahajic very early in the piece. Nazari goes down. Cheap foul given away. Grigic. Shepard. Wesiotis, nice ball out wide for Habib. Gets around one. Has more to take on. Can't get the ball past Grigic low. Another corner coming up for Heidelberg United. Can Brian Summerskill put St. Albans on the board? Michael Mammis just sorting out that wall. Brian Summerskill through the wall, deflected, but it's safely into the gloves of Chris Theodorides. Yeah, great save by the keeper there. It, uh, looked like the deflection was going to go through, but he did well there. He did well. So United get away with it. Entertaining affair, this one. And it's been willing at times. Another heavy challenge and another foul. This time the man going down. 
Dion Nicolides. Right at the edge of the area. Oh, the the St. Albans attacking France going through. Joey Monica has a turnover here now. Summer skill for George at the back hill. What a goal! A hat trick last week. And a very nifty back hill to put St. Albans up. What a great goal. Absolute great goal there. Past the halfway mark of this opening half at Churchill Reserve. George Ott's on the board. A 1 0 lead for St. Albans. An easy call that one for Michael Mamis as Wilson went flying to the ground. Forward by Theodoropoulos, and it's a nice ball. Alice toward the back post for Habib. It's a heavy ball, though, and ultimately the offside flag does go up for the first time this evening. Nazari. That's going to draw a yellow card for Jamie Wilson. Another set-piece situation coming up for St. Albans. Yeah, um... Just outside the box again, a bit, a bit to the side this time, rather than sort of right in front, like the last free kick they had. Grigic, the furthest man back. Ott looking to make a run in if it goes aerial. This is Brian Summerskill. It's a challenging ball, and it did have to well, draw the save in the end from Chris Theodorides, and now we're going to have a corner. This has been a really impressive start for St Albans. Yeah, absolutely has been. And that was a beautifully placed free kick. Um, really stretched the Adorides. So. It was only six minutes ago when George Ott scored the opening goal of this match. Can he make it 2-0? He misses. It's wide. Went to the left. As he did last week with that penalty. Bottom left corner was what he went for, but it fell wide and it stays 1-0 at Churchill Reserve. They have been under siege now for nearly 10 minutes of play. Another turnover. It's Nazari. Joey Monek looked to launch. It wasn't going to go in anyway, but it's cleared away. Monek again. Sean Ellis just sneaking up on him as he tried to back heel that one towards Simmons. So a chance now here for Heidelberg United perhaps to bring this one back to square. And that was a challenging ball for Yas Karanovic. It will be a corner. And Sean Ellis wants to take it quickly. Does get all the way out the back to would have been. It took a St. Albans touch. Now a corner at the other end. And coming across is Jamie Wilson. His name already in the book of Michael Mummies. Joey Monak is back up on his feet and will take part when play regimes here. Zach Thomas sends it high and long. But on the follow-up, that one ended up nowhere near George Ott. Played on nicely by Nazari to Ott. Maybe thought he had someone to his right, but just empty space. Wins it back. Another heavy challenge. Maybe not card-worthy this time by Anthony Theodoropoulos. But it was heavy contact nonetheless. After getting its way through the wall. Summer skill. Nazari on the follow up. Zip. Back healing it into the air and into the gloves of Theodorides. Alice quickly trying to play it toward Kane Shepard. Now, as far as Timmons. Got a foot on it and sent it toward the middle of the pitch. It's one back by Theodoropoulos. Towards Pin. Habib. Was working on the left side mostly. This time he's on the right. Looking to come central. Received some heavy contact. And now a free kick opportunity is coming up for Heidelberg United. Michael Mammoth putting the finishing touches on the defensive setup here for the home team. 
Sean Ellis over the crossbar and not by much. No, it was a really good kick by Ellis. Um, just missed, um, just slightly a bit too high, just over the crossbar, like you said. Summer skill. That's a nice ball in as well, but just going over the head of Fabrizio. Theodoridis being called upon again, and another corner coming up. Yeah, another corner. Two St. Albans markers on the goal line here. Cleared away safely. Thomas taking on Habib. Habib was fouled. And he was the man that was fouled that resulted in the free kick a couple of minutes ago where Sean Ellis put it over the crossbar. Ball's quickly played on to Thomas, who's been busy. Timmons. That's a Kiranovic, but it's blocked by Josh Pinn. Maybe a chance for Kane Shepard. Now Pinn. Offside flag goes up for the second time in this first half for Heidelberg United. Theodoropoulos will not take the throw. Murakami will be the man. Right in front of Ryan McGuffey. Looking for a late equaliser in this first half, but they won't get the chance. The four additional minutes are up. And at half time, a 1 0 lead for St. Albans. And the man that scored the hat trick last week, George Ott, in the 24th minute. Welcome back to Churchill Reserve. Second half about to get underway between St. Albans. And Heidelberg United, a 1-0 lead for the home team. George Ott scoring in the 24th minute to open the scoring here tonight. And despite plenty of chances at both ends, particularly for St. Albans, that was the only goal that we saw in the opening 45. Adam Sari Coglu and Matt Unan. So we pick up where we left off. Drama everywhere you look. At Churchill Reserve tonight. And Brian Summerskill will again look to make something happen from the set piece as he lobs one toward Chris Theodorides who has to punch it away. And that might have been some friendly fire. A couple of Heidelberg defenders have gone down. Michael Mummies does stop play. Under a little bit of pressure here, Heidelberg United. And Theodoridis, it wasn't an easy ball. Then comes together with George Ott. He goes down. Theodoridis outside the area. This might be a goal if St. Albans are able to capitalise on some pretty bad mistakes at the back. Bilal Habib. Habib does well. Not a bad effort. Off target, but impressive. Yeah, that was that was a bit of a, a real, real impressive play, passage of play there. Um, <laughs> let's see, let's see if they can. Uh... The fourth official will be readying something on his board, so this might be the night done for Josh Pin. He stays in play for the time being. But likely a second change coming up here for Heidelberg United. They'll get. The foul call here. Habib missed a decent chance a couple of minutes ago. The numbers went out again, though, for St. Albans. Grigic. Habib got there first, and Grigic fouled him. Comes to Habib. And that wasn't a bad ball either towards Pin. We're going to have a corner. Just came, just, ball just came out of his hand the wrong way. Alice was having a hard time getting past Sean Timmons, but a big chance now for Heidelberg United. Great block by Dib. Josh Pin had a chance, but Dib had the ball cannon into him and then. And there's been a change on the fourth officials board. Sean Ellis will be coming out alongside Jamie Wilson. 
And the men coming on, Kenneth Hugh, Mark Similic. So Sean Ellis, who did pick up an injury in round one against Anselm Fundo, got subbed out of that game. His night is done. And Jamie Wilson as well. The Adderopolis now. He's going to make Murakami work hard for this ball. He does get the ball in. Habib, it comes up in the air. Shepard. Chance here for Heidelberg United. Athew, his shot's blocked, though. And now George Ott will come away for St. Albans. On the counter-attack, Joey Monek. Dangerous moment there on the goal line. But Josh Pinn emerges. Takes it all the way to halfway. There's going to be a booking here. Yellow card for Troy Ruffin. To send a long ball toward the top of the area. They've been pressing Heidelberg United. You could probably give the honours to them in this second half so far, but they remain down on the scoreboard by one goal to nil. Theodoropoulos, a half chance that lands safely in the gloves of Kiranovic. Summer skill. Some nifty work, but well defended by Theodoropoulos. And now on the counter, below Habib, it's a heavy challenge. Chris Dib is already on a yellow, and that should be a red. Chris Dib is out of the game. Wow. You wonder whether he sacrificed his own spot in the team. St. Albans holding on to a 1-0 lead, but have to defend that lead down a man. In these dying minutes at Churchill Reserve. And the ball indeed was out of play. Bilal Habib was working hard to keep it alive. Bit of confusion as a throw-in is what he's called for in the end. It is a Heidelberg United ball though. Kane Shepard sending the ball in. Josh Pinn, some fancy work in the air, but he can't get a decent shot away. That was close. Uh, just couldn't get a clear shot at it. But it was, it was clever play by him and, and by the Heidelberg players there to, to try and get it in there. But, yeah, just, he couldn't just get a clear shot at it, unfortunately. And it... Nazari, Monek, left foot, Paul Theatoridis diving and making the save. And before the corner, we might get this next substitution. I think it is actually Joey Monek who is going to come off. Nazari comes away with it. Maybe a chance to double the lead late. And it's blocked on the line. Theodorides was beaten. No score. Lathan Dunn, who'd only just come on, should really have doubled the lead. Little touch there by Bilal Habib, but the ball was overrun by Alessi Otis. Counter attack once more. Done. Has George Ott and Sweat ahead of him if he can send it in, but he can't. The whistle then blown. A St. Albans free kick. The clock's ticking, and I think St. Albans are home. Home on their home deck, and they'll come home with a 1 0 victory tonight. After a close knit affair tonight. Ryan McGuffey has his first league win for St. Torbens. A 1 0 win. Thanks to George Ott, who scored in the 24th minute.